What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Soul Stage with multi platinum rapper Jack Harlow. Hello. I'm gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Of course. Let's go. Jack, let's start. We saw the starter jacket. Oneness has a store in Louisville. You mm -hmm. used to go there. Is that where you used to get a lot of sneakers? That's why I have been now. They opened a the store in Louisville. So yeah. They have one in Lexington, the original, but now that there's one in Louisville, I pull up on my man, Joe. Yep. Yeah. I talked to Joe. He said, you know, this guy, Jack, he was like, we were sneaking him into clubs. He always had new balances. We're going to get to that later. But what was like the shopping habits back then? The mall, Mall St. Matthews, Oxford Mall. Foot lockers. There's okay. plenty of foot lockers in Louisville, so yeah. we find a way to get shoes. Okay. Yeah. And you were just going with your boys on like a Saturday, Sunday afternoon? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I, I was a late bloomer in terms of getting into shoes, but early on, I was I was dipping and dabbing. Okay. Yeah. Another thing you said is you always like to stand out, the Starberries. Oh, I didn't know you were going to bring those up. Talk about the Starberries, though. They sold six million of those, and you were wearing them. Yeah, I bought the six million in one. Yeah. yeah. So what was it about the Starberries that you liked? Nobody was wearing them. Yeah. That's what I feel like. I didn't wear them when they were they first came out. Okay. I brought them back a few years ago. Okay. It's clean. It's a white shoe. It's for the low. I got it on a budget, so I love the Starberry. $15. Yeah. And where'd you get them? You know, if they released, where would you even get them? I got them on Amazon. Okay, Amazon. Yeah. And then another thing you said, High fashion sneakers, no go. The ones with the studs. Yeah, I hate them studs. You just never got into it or what? I'm just not a gothic guy, you know? Okay. I don't like spikes on me. Got it. So like no Louboutins, nothing like that. I don't that. like any spikes or any, yeah. Headliners Music Hall, I read an article and it says he pops out and it's raining and he's wearing shopping bags on the sneakers. Some people joke about that. You actually do it. Well, you know, I like a lot of shoes with suede on them. Okay. Like, rain is just gonna ruin your day, so. I grew up putting plastic bags on. I used to go on field trips and it would pour down rain, but I'd be ready. Okay, so you protect it and you're not getting them messed up, basically. Plastic bags, constantly. All right, and when, that was in February. Would you still do that now? You know, you have the big New Balance thing that we'll talk about, but would you still do that now? If, to it, was, if it was raining right now, you would see plastic bags on me. Okay. During this shoot. And where'd you learn to do that? Uh, common sense, I guess. No, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I saw somebody, Okay. I saw people doing that growing up. After school, you would do it. After school, you would, we'd walk up to McDonald's or something, and you'd throw them on. Yeah. So you keep them pristine. Yeah, my first, my, my first pair of sneakers I really cared about were these blue suede Reeboks. Okay. And they had the little British flag on them and everything. Kind of like the Reebok Classic, probably. Yeah, great looking. I was in fifth grade, and I wore them every day. It didn't matter what I wore with them, I'd wear them every day. And I remember I went to a Bats baseball game. We got this minor league team. Okay. And it poured down rain, and I didn't have the bags on. Ruined my favorite shoes ever, Damn. bro. Damn. Destroyed them. So since then, that's bagged it. up. Yeah. All right. Jack, I know that you like to be different, but why never Nike or Jordan, even when you were growing up? What? Why not? Well, you know, the city I'm from, Louisville, Kentucky, surrounded by kids wearing Nike and Jordan. Okay. And I had no issue with that, but I did want to stand out early. And I remember I bought some 574s in high school, some navy blue 574s. And I wore them to school one day and people were like, yo, what's up with those? You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not from the DMV where that was wavy. Mm -hmm. People were like, why are you wearing those? And I, I kind of was getting off on their reaction to that. Right. And so I think it started, I really liked how they look, but mm -hmm. there was an irony to it at first. Like, oh, you don't, y'all don't like these? I'm gonna keep wearing them. Yeah. And then people started to associate them with me. So early on, even when I was putting on mixtapes in high school, I was you know, trying to get on. People were like, oh, he, he wears a New Balance yeah. everywhere. So it was inescapable. And how much, you know, you've had tons of success on Billboard, but how much getting like a sneaker deal, where does that rank for you? It's top, top 17 things in my life. <laughs> okay. I'm hyped about it. Yeah. And what about all the collabs? Are you sentimental? I saw like Jimmy Fallon, you wore the Joe Fresh Goods yes. 992. Yeah. What do you, do you associate different New Balances or different sneakers with like moments like that? I'd like to say so. They, they've been getting so crazy with the collabs the last two years that it's really been perfect timing for me because the brand has just naturally gotten wavier and wavier. Yeah. So for me, I've just been eating off that. And so every time something drops and they shoot it to me, I'm rocking it, you know? You were in the Kawhi campaign. What's mm -hmm. it like, you know, you're, you play basketball a lot. We saw you in the Tyler Hero video. You co-sign these for, for basketball? Do I ever? Yeah. You know, I was just in the uh, the Crew League tournament. That's why I was out here. Yesterday I saw something online. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stuff <laughs> online right now. <laughs> but uh, I wore Kawhi's the whole time. I was channeling his energy. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people say I play just like him. Really? Yeah. 
they see like flashes of me when he plays. A lot of people tell him that. I'm humble though, you know, I don't know. But people say he plays like me. Okay. Yeah. The whole crew in the new video, all New Balance stuff. Do you have to convince them to do it or it's like, listen, Well, you here's guys the thing, here's the thing. Yeah. That scene you're talking about was actually supposed to be my lookalikes, clones. Oh, okay. So they all had green, the green New Balance hoodies. But after the shoot, we had packs on packs. And when we were going on tour, we'd hit Boston where the headquarters are and we'd go in yeah. the factory and they would lace us. And the whole crew had no problem wearing that, you know what I mean? So, my guys wear New Balance. We all wear New Balance. Will you ever design a new silhouette for New Balance, or would you rather do a 990 or a 992 or a 574? I'd like to do both. Okay. I want to have my own 990, and then I'd like to graduate to doing my own silhouette, but I'm going to be very particular about it. I want it to be hard, but it would be legendary for me to do a 990. Definitely. In fact, I have a crazy idea that I'm not going to say right now. Actually. Okay. Yeah. No, not even give us a hint? Oh, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm definitely not going to. All right. Can't All talk right. about it. Camera's and rolling. The gray one is your favorite, though, right? The gray one? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah classic. And just dropped the album. It's crazy. I can feel my life changing in front of me. Yeah. I think this is this is the one that's going to shift everything. Because the music is, there's so much diversity to mm -hmm. it. I mean, we gave them every type of song. And I think I really showed my breadth as an artist, so I'm hyped. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves. See what you're going to take home. Let's do it. What are you grabbing today, man? Oh, well, I need these, I'll tell you that. All right, for sure. These. Got you. Without a doubt. All size 12s. For sure. Big dog, you know? Big dog. Size you 12. know what I mean, you know? I already got these, but I need another pair, man. All right, man. They're just too hard. Got you, bro. Yeah, I think that'll do it for now. That's it? Yeah. All right, man. Appreciate that. Find everything okay? My sure man. Did. My man. Total is 1,259 with 25 cents. Hey man, let me tell you something. Hey, financial literacy and and spending your money and all it's not about Here you just go, bro. buying. Here you go. Not about you. I hear him, but man. you can, you can put this on there. I was just buying some drawers, man. <laughs> you good on it? That's it, boss. All right, dog. Thank you. Appreciate it. Get some of this. Them drawers so you don't want fit you neither, though. No, I want but that one. You don't want a bag? No. Hey, wait, 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 wait. He didn't, he didn't pay for these? He, no, he didn't pay for them. Come on. So, Jack came through, told some great stories, got some pickups. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks for having me. This was legendary. Absolutely. Make sure you check that album. It's out right now. You dig?